Greetings, this is Vladrill and welcome to Let's Play Contradiction. So, Contradiction is a FMV adventure game which I've been hearing good things about. And since I really like the genre, uh, Tex Murphy, for example, is one of my favorite adventure games. I got it recently. It has a weird start, as you can see. This is the main screen. Which is kinda weird. Uh, Alright, you know what? I don't want to see this yet, maybe afterwards. This is the only option you have, um, audio and visual wise. This is kinda crappy. If game 1 and 2 tells me it may have autosaves or something. You know what? Just jump into it and see what it's all about. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this What's was a murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's oh, village of the Jordan Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. All right, that was too much information in too small time. Don't forget to use the maps and the tips. Yeah, I have no idea how to play this, so I guess you just pick where you want to go. Also, there's some video stuttering, which I'm not sure. We'll see. Welcome to the Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your investigate button to see Jenks investigate. Okay. Click the inventory icon. Uh, this is the inventory icon. Okay. What? This is the move. Is this? This seems like home. This. Okay. Tips. Map. Inventory. Cool. Click the inventory icon to see your collected items, which include both physical objects and information Jenks has collected. If you are at a location where you think you can use a physical item, try to use try the use icon. Alright. How do we save? 
We just escape. Nothing happens. Yeah, I haven't even saved yet, so... Hmm, the interface is rather weird. It's unlike um, Dex Murphy, actually. Mm. So I guess I can only go left, ahead, or right. Or right now. Okay, driving license was found uh, with a piece of tape attached. Click to try using this. Okay. I don't think I can see that uh, map again at this time anyway. Alright, so I guess this is uh, tips about uh, how to proceed. This is the map. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, go to the bub. See what happens. Apparently it's closed. Hmm. No, mouse is fine, I think. What's the difference? Uh, nah. I think mouse is better, probably. So we can't go there. Let's go left. Uh, Brandon House. Probably means I'll... Yeah, I have a lousy memory. Uh, rather... Even worse with names, so I have no idea what who, who that person is. What happened to the? Yeah. Where did the icons go? Aha! Uh -huh, all right, I was there. Now I'm here. Guess I can only go down or go behind the Brander house. Which it has nothing on it, just I can go back. Oh, what? Let's try this. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, that's kind of useless then. Yes, head back. Back. You. Let's try up. Will attend there along the path, woods lane. Ah, oh, there is an investigation uh, icon. It's gonna Always be nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Peculiar, so far at least. So far, it's kind of weird. Okay, maybe I can open up uh, something. The interface is weird. Uh, is where I was? Yes. Okay. So, let's go left. I don't remember the person I was looking for. I think it was a boyfriend, but I don't remember his name. Is it Simon? Uh, oh, there he yeah. is. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah, thank you. Who does that? Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. I don't expect any great acting. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. 
Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Right, and by that I mean uh, if it's going to be anything like Tex Murphy, it's probably going to be quirky but good. Not great acting, but uh, not bad either. It's the quirkiness that actually make it uh, enjoyable. Your first interview. First pick an item you want to ask about and click ask to see Jenks ask about it. When you have heard the reply, you will see a summary of what's said in the box at the bottom. Clicking any item you've already asked about shows the summary of replies beneath. Now click any reply to add it to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. So if you want to cut someone in a lie, which is basically what the game is about. Because the game is called Contradiction Spot the Liar. Now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two cont contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. They go green, sit back and watch Zenx interrogate your interviewee. Cool, we'll just start with the death. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Okay, Did you looks see like her after cool. the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? What sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Alright, now is this in England? Looks like England. I guess it could be in Australia as well, but looks more like England to me. Uh, you can replay the answers apparently. Last okay at the Atlas meeting, only no okay in for three months. Alright, so far I don't think we'll have anything to contradict. Maybe later. Yes. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Doesn't know anything about the lessons. Ah, okay, that's... Isn't worth asking Simon, okay? I guess that's all there is right now. Well, we just started, so not a lot of information, I guess. Visit Thank them. you. We'll probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. All right. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just like used to question grave. everything, you know. I have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Right. He's very emotive, uh, Jinx. Uh, no green? Okay. Uh, let's ask about this. 
I'm guessing we'll have to speak to most Kate people until we can get or not. something contradictory. Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. So if it's uh, red, it means you can't uh, ask about it, maybe. Alright, anything else? Uh, I think that's it for now. The drinking problem... We didn't see Kate very often. Yeah, alright. Uh, that's all for the moment, thank you. Let's look around a bit more, we can come back. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Uh -huh, so now we can uh, go directly to one of the two people to talk to. Cool. Silver bike. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Nice back too. Looks like homebrew equipment. Who ah, does that? This might come in handy. Stop stealing people's stuff. What the hell? <laughs> what kind of an investigator is this? Box of bottles was seen outside. Uh, uh, we may also be able to ask about these things now. Hmm, I'm not sure how the loading system and. Uh, Saving system goes. I haven't seen any saving happening, but I'm not sure anyway. So let's try asking for the items. A few more questions, if you we don't mind. Did. Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to find a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Uh, only way for Simon to get to work belongs to Simon's cousin. Okay. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. That seems like a lie. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a clue. Or something, because we can't ask about it. Alrighty. Be back later on, if that's okay. Uh, let's see. We'll ask about the bike first. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Hmm. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. How wouldn't you know? That's weird. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? No. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Alright, selects only wine. I don't know. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Cool. So far this game is very interesting. Alright, I think before we go outside and uh, try to find more people to talk to, I'll end this episode here. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time when I continue this series.